quick story. These are pretty horrific stories. So if you got, if you're sensitive, I warn you. Um, this is from um, this is a story that came out uh, about this this week. I think Barry Weiss maybe has written about this. I'm not sure. I, I read about it in the news summary coming out of Barry Weiss's newsletter. Uh, so at least to some extent, you wrote about it. Uh, this is a about the the, uh, the, the whole trans uh, phenomena and. Uh, uh, particularly when it comes to children and the idea of uh, transitioning children, getting them on on, on blockers and doing, uh, you know, double vasectomies and all, all kind, you know, kind of the surgery, so completely changing them uh, to flip them to the opposite sex, right? And and uh, what what is happening in the culture in which we live, at least in parts of it, I think very small parts of it, but people, you know, but this has immense influence on, on kids, because it's the it's those institutions that affect kids. Uh, there's a glamorization of the whole trans phenomenon. There's a glamorization of this idea of, of 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 flipping. There's a celebration of yay! Finally, we can become who we really are by chopping off parts of our bodies. And and it's really interesting if you look at the statistics that there were that it used to be trans was mostly a phenomena of of men wanting to become women, um, and and today. It's primarily a phenomenon of girls, young women wanting to become men. So it's, but anyway, Boston Children's Hospital put out a series, Boston Children's Hospital, one of the premier hospitals in the country for children, really. I mean, Boston is healthcare capital in many respects. And Boston Children's Hospital put out a series of videos, informational supposedly videos, uh, talking about trans issues. And it really comes across as, a celebration and, 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 you know, wow, wow, and all excited. I mean, it was so bad that they've actually taken down some of the videos now because of the backlash against this. And it's just, it's part of this propaganda. And, and part of this, for example, is, and I watched this video. I couldn't believe the quote. So I actually went and watched the video. On one of these videos, this, this woman is saying, children know from when they are born, that they don't have the right sex. And one of the signs for that is they don't want to have a haircut. Like girls want long hair, boys want short hair. I mean, not that long ago we were told by the left, by the feminists, that there are no differences between men and women. Now we're told that there are deep, unchangeable differences between men and women. That... Uh, you know, so that um, they're so deep that people are born with these male and char female characteristics, including whether they want to have a haircut or not. Now, I, by the way, have never met a child who wanted a haircut. None of my kids wanted a haircut. We're excited about getting a haircut. I mean, you had to bribe them. You had to do all kinds of things for them to sit still so they could get a haircut. It's just bizarre. Children from very young, from when they're born, they know that they're in the, 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 their gender is misassigned. For example, this video says, I mean, a Boston Children's Hospital video says that playing with opposite gender toys is a sign your child is probably transgender. Now, this is insane. Insane. I mean, how many tomboys, how many girls love to play with the boys and didn't want to play with dolls? My wife is one of them, right? And then grew up to be very feminine women. It's, this is true anti-science insanity. Completely insanity. Um, so, and trans has become the militant issue of the militant left in, in ways that are just particularly uh, 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 disgusting and perverse and, and, and uh, uh, maddening. And 
this is being done and inflicted ultimately on children. Um, Boston Children's Hospital, at some point in, in its defense, claimed that, uh, no, we don't operate on children. It turns out they did on 15-year-olds. Um, and uh, it, it, as I said, nobody under 18 who is legally an adult should be allowed to transition. They, they should be able to make that decision as adults. Uh, this should be not be celebrated. Uh, people who have uh, whatever psychological condition, um, it, you know, separates their biology from how they feel about themselves. It, 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 this is this is something to, to feel sorry for them. This is this is disturbing. This is not good. Um, you, you know, try to help them, and, and maybe in some cases they need surgery, but. It's not something to be celebrated. It's not something to be striving for. It's not something to be encouraging young people to embrace. It is insane. And as part of this, um, there, there is the story about some academics who are now claiming, it, it starts with uh, a, a new performance of Joan of Arc, the play in London at the London Shakespeare Theater, in which Joan of Arc is portrayed as, uh, by, as, as neither male nor female. And with, you know, she's addressed as they, them, whatever, pronouns. And as, as trans, the Joan of Arc is trained. And why? Why is Joan of Arc trained? Because she exhibits masculine features. She's strong. She's a leader. I mean, this is so insulting to women. This is so unbelievably insulting to women. And not only that, they're now going back and rewriting history and making all strong women, all strong women uh, in, in history, all leaders and who exhibit, quote, masculine tra traits, they must be transgender, right? So what the left today is, a, is, is claiming, which should horrify anybody who was a feminist, is a feminist, tangential to feminism, that basically what the trans movement is claiming today is the women should stay in the kitchen, should have kids, should not be ambitious, should not be strong, should not lead, should not be powerful, should should not be any, because if they are, then they're really men. They're not really women. Whoops. Men are strong. They're leaders. They're innov courageous innovators. And uh, women are not, should not. I mean, Ayn Rand. I mean, you, you want to tell Ayn Rand she was not a woman? I mean, this is, this is not ironic. This is real. This is insanity. And, and there's a whole academic thing about this. So what they're really trying to do, of course, and, and this is the key, this is what the transgender movement is trying to do. And again, I, you know, I feel bad for people who are transgender and whatever it is, it is, right? Their movement... What the movement is trying to do is eviscerate femininity and masculinity. What they're trying to do is eviscerate sex. What they're trying to do is eviscerate male, female, men, women. They are fundamentally and through and through, they're nihilists. They want to chop down all your sexual organs. They want all of you to be asexual. They want to destroy the human capacity for sex, the human capacity to identify with sex, the human enjoyment of sex. They are nihilist through and through. They want to knock and destroy and, and tear you down. And they are vicious. And, you know, this movement is vicious and anti-human. Anti-human. And we're going to hear a lot more about it. Now, the, the, there's a huge backlash against this. Uh, I mean, the trans movement was very strong in England. There's, in, the, in, in the UK, there's a big backlash against it. They've just shut down the big government-funded uh, uh, hospital that was doing all this transition surgery and everything. Um, uh, there's a huge backlash, again, not against transgender people, but against this movement that celebrates it, that, 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 that is trying to destroy sexuality. And that's what needs to be fought. 
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brook Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.